Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. Are you struggling to decide what depth exam you should take for the civil PE exam? Where do you start when trying to figure this out? Passing the PE exam is the last milestone in your journey towards your professional engineering license. So it is very important that you make the right decision. That is why I will cover each of these disciplines over the next five videos in detail and explain how they will show up on the exam, what the pass rates are for each topic, and provide some valuable information that will help you in your decision. In this first video, we will take a deeper look at the PE Civil Geotechnical Depth section of the computer-based PE exam to help you decide if this might be the right option for you. This episode is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. Let me start by telling you that there are five different areas that you can choose from when taking the PE Civil exam, which are number one, PE Civil Geotechnical, number two, PE Civil Construction, number three, PE Civil Structural, number four, PE Civil Transportation, and number five, PE Civil Water Resources and Environmental. Now remember that the PE Civil exam is a breadth and depth examination. The breadth segment, typically known as the morning section, will cover topics from all areas of civil engineering. However, the depth segment, typically known as the afternoon section, focuses more closely on a single area of practice, like for example, geotechnical engineering. What is geotechnical engineering? The geotechnical field is concerned with the study of the soil properties and its bearing capacity. Geotechnical engineering is concerned also with finding suitable solutions for any problem soils, as well as the choice of the best and secured methods of design and construction for the foundations of engineering structures. Now, here are a few things to note about the civil geotechnical computer-based PE exam. The exam is computer-based, which means it's closed book with electronic references only. The NCWS PE Civil Reference Handbook is included in the exam along with the design standards. Examinees have nine hours to complete the exam, which contains 80 problems. The nine hour time includes a tutorial and an optional scheduled break. The exam uses both the International System of Units, or SI, and the U.S. Customary System, USCS. The exam is developed with questions that require a variety of approaches and methodologies, including design, analysis, and application. Now, examples of the knowledge areas are not exclusive or exhaustive, but this is what you can expect to be tested on on the geotechnical depth portion of the exam. Project planning, such as cost estimating and project schedules. Means and methods, such as construction loads and methods. Soil mechanics, such as lateral earth pressure, soil consolidation, and foundation settlement. Structural mechanics, such as dead and live loads, trusses, bending, and axial. Hydraulics and hydrology, such as open channel flow, stormwater, and pressure conduit. Geometrics, such as basis circular curve elements and basis vertical curve elements. Materials, such as soil classification, soil properties, and structural steel. Site development, such as excavation and embankment, construction site, layout, and control. Site characteristics, such as geophysics, subsurface exploration planning, drilling techniques, and more. Soil mechanics, laboratory testing and analysis, such as index properties 
and testing of strengths and testing of soil and rock, field materials, testing methods and safety such as excavation and embankment, borrow source studies, laboratory and field compaction, earthquake engineering and dynamic loads such as liquefaction analysis and mitigation techniques as well as seismic site characterization. I just had a flashback from my earthquake engineering class, which didn't end too well. Earth structures, such as slab on grade, ground improvement and geosynthetic applications, groundwater and seepage, such as seepage analysis, groundwater flow and dewatering, design methods and impact on nearby structures. Problematic soil and rock conditions, such as karst, collapsible, expansive and sensitive soils. Earth retaining structures, ASD or LRFD, such as lateral earth pressure, and load distribution. Shallow foundations, ASD or LRFD, such as bearing capacity, settlement, including vertical stress distribution, and finally, deep foundations, ASD or LRFD, such as single element axial capacity, for example, driven pile, drilled shaft, micro pile, helical screw piles, auger cast piles, and also lateral load and deformation analysis. Still not sure if this exam is for you? Let's look at the passing rates for the Civil Geotechnical PE exam. As of December 2021, the PE Civil Geotechnical exam had a 54% pass rate for first time takers and 30% pass rate for repeat takers. You can find the full list of pass rates on the NCWS website. Hopefully this information will give you a better idea of what to expect on the Civil Geotechnical CBT PE exam. Remember to consider your experience and interests and to check the passing rates when deciding what depth section you should take for your PE exam. Lastly, I would strongly recommend to also preview the exam by doing some exam prep courses that offer a variety of live and on-demand classes. Looking at the previews of the practice exams for each discipline might help jog your memory of which areas have questions that may be easier for you to tackle. For some great prep courses, visit our sponsor PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all of the options available for PE exam prep. I hope you found this review helpful. In upcoming videos, I will review the other civil engineering depth disciplines. And if you have any questions, fire away in the comments and I will respond to you. I'll see you next week.